Hello everyone and welcome to Pharma Rocks. We have brought for you Pharma Quiz Part 3. Pharma Rocks is an educational YouTube channel which mainly deals with providing educational content for pharmacy competitive examinations. In this particular video, we have brought for you multiple choice questions which are for your practice that is MCQs, the rules for this quiz are as follows. Rule number one, there are a total of 10 MCQs. Each correct answer carries four marks. Each incorrect answer will lead to the deduction of one mark that is negative marking system. And the time limit is 15 minutes. You have to complete the entire quiz within 15 minutes. You may pause the video and note down your answer and resume the video to know the correct answer. Do not forget to comment your score in the comment section below after the test is done. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you feel that our content benefits you in some or the other way. Also, press the bell icon to get notified about all the new videos that will be uploaded on our YouTube channel. We provide exam preparation videos for GPAT that is Graduate Pharmacy Aptitude Test, NIPA, National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education Research and DI that is Drug Inspector. In this video, we are uploading quiz. So let's begin with the quiz. Solve the questions carefully. Read the questions twice and pause the video for noting down your answer and resume it for knowing the correct one. The answer will be provided after 5 to 10 seconds of reading the question as well as the options. So good luck. All the best. First question, acidity of ascorbic acid is due to the presence of Option A, free carboxylic acid Option B, a number of hydroxyl groups Option C, enolic groups Or Option D, none of the above You may pause the video and note down your answer The correct answer for this question is Option C, enolic groups Option C, enolic groups. Moving ahead with the next question. Question number two. Which one of this is a diagnostic agent for myasthenia gravis? Option A, androphonium. Option B, physostigmine. Option C, neostigmin. Or option D, pyridostigmine. You may pause the video and note down your answer. The correct answer for this question is option A, endrophonium. Option A, endrophonium. Moving ahead with the next question. Question number 3. Anethole is starting material for the synthesis of option A, dienesterol, option B, norethesterone, option C, diethylstilbesterol or option D, estradiol. You may pause the video and note down your answer. The correct answer for this question is option C, diethylstilbesterol. Option C, diethylstilbesterol. Moving on, question number 4. Bloom varies from option A, 150 to 250 gram. Option B, 500 to 700 gram option c 1000 to 2000 gram or option d none of the above you may pause the video and note down your answer the correct answer for this question is option a 150 to 250 gram option a 150 to 250 gram moving ahead question number five Iodohydroxyquinoline causes Option A. Jaundice Option B. Eye defects Option C. Diarrhea Or Option D. Ataxia You may pause the video and note down your answer. The correct answer for this question is Option B. Eye defects 
option B eye defect moving ahead with the next question question number six digitalis belongs to the schedule option A E option B X option C G or option D H you may pause the video and note down your answer the correct answer for this question is option A E option A E moving on with the next question question number seven keratin is a or an option a protein option b albuminoid option c gluteolin or option d pepton you may pause the video and note down your answer the correct answer for this question is option b albuminoid option b albuminoid keratin a scleroprotein or albuminoid substance it is found in the dead outer skin layer moving ahead with the next question question number eight the bacteria remaining alive for long periods in the dry condition is option a vibrio cholerae option b bordetella pertussis option c mycobacterium tuberculosis or option d clostridium tetany you may pause the video and note down your answer the correct answer for this question is option b bordetella pertussis option b bordetella pertussis moving ahead with the next question question number nine Spironolactone acts at option A site 1, option B site 2, option C site 3 or option D site 4. You may pause the video and note down your answer. The correct answer for this question is option D site 4, option D site 4. Moving on to the last question of the series. Which of these substances acts as an irritant purgative? Option A. Linseed oil. Option B. Diosgenin. Option C. Cascara segrada. Or option B. Obain. You may pause the video and note down your answer. The correct answer for this question is option C, Cascara Segrada, option C, Cascara Segrada. So here we are done with Pharma Quiz Part 3. Good luck for your scores and also do not forget to comment the score in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe to our channel as much as possible if you feel that our content benefits you. Do share with your friends so that even they benefit from our videos. For availing any study material or model papers related to GPAD, NIPER, DI Pharmacist exam preparation, contact Mr. Amar Rawal through the WhatsApp number which is flashing on your screen that is 901631201. 20. You may call him or WhatsApp him for any queries related to pharmacy or its competitive examinations. Pharma rocks the way of success.